this one. I think this is probably my favorite one, to be honest. The legends from uh, filters and legends from filters, from especially. Cool. So this tool yep. creates legends using the filters of a view or a view template, lists them, and lists the uh, names of those filters. You need to pick a source view, and it can be view or a view template. In this case, that's a fire protection plants with their own color scheme. Pick the text style, and then the this is important. Source. Yeah. Yes, this is important. Do you want to pick the uh, cut or the projection colors of that uh, filter? So this is okay. Uh, so the cut and yeah. the projection refers to um, the overrides for the cut or the uh, projection uh, state of the element. Uh, so in this case, I want to use cut. Going back to my legend. Uh, setting the text style and the color source for cut, and then just the sizes of the uh, boxes of colors you can adjust them. Uh, later, I'm going to keep the default values here. And next, I need to specify the point where I want to place the legend, and it places and there you go. the filters from that uh, view, view template. And especially handy if you have multiple filters. So can you imagine that sometimes you can have wall types, uh, what, yes. like 10, 20 different wall yes. types yes, yes. laid out as a filter, and this is super useful. Yes, it can get quite a lot. So you yeah, there we go. don't want to be doing this manually. Manually. Um, yeah, it will... You can do it on demand. You can rerun it. If yes, you don't like yes. something about it, you can mm -hmm. yeah, short and make them into squares or mm -hmm. fiddle with the super nice. Uh, yes, so this is the um, um, sizes of the boxes and the offset between them. You can space them if you uh, feel the need to. Uh, another note here is that um, to not contaminate the styles of your uh, project, the, yeah, I really like it this doesn't option. actually uh, create the field region types. Instead, it uses a random one and it, it overrides, it, right? overrides them. So if you copy these elements to another one, um, expect them not to look the same. But that, that kind of mimics your manual behavior anyways, right? That's exactly what you would probably do as um, if you would do this manually. Yes, I, I Pro kind of felt that it would be more useful to not create a, a single field region for every single filter because it can, yeah. it can it's gonna lengthen the, the list of, of your field regions and make it difficult for users to find the ones that they need. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And but I think that was an option, right? It you could create them if you really wanted or not. Um, yes, for the other one. For the Excel, was it? Yeah, all right. I all right. will. Well, update should, this one. Can you show the Excel? Yes. And for for the Excel, if you show it, I think the what we did was we provided a template file. Well, you did, which is great because initially it's like, okay, Excel, where do I start? What is an Excel? Do I open it? How do I do it? But mm -hmm. then you've already provided a template that would be found in the in the script directory in the folder of the script, and you can open that with PyRabbit using the out uh, click combination, which yes. is great. So you have everything you need from the get go. Yes. Um, so out click and click on the button um, will open the folder where the script is located and you'll see the template available. It's just two columns, uh, one with the name of um, the color and the other one with the uh, color RGB, expressed yeah. as RGB um, in this format. So um, to use this, uh, you need to point to that uh, file. I'm just going to copy this address. And again, a couple of um, graphic presets uh, with the box sizes. And here you have the option to create new field region types for. Yeah, so there it is. The option. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to select create new field region types here and does the same yeah it creates these boxes and in this case it created a new field region type for every value which is funny because now as a byproduct you can use this tool you say yes. this is the field region types that i want to do and i just about create them pretty cool yes you can use that as well um only simple colors for now uh no hatches but yeah useful. okay that's amazing my turn my turn let me let me share as well